Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now let's start one more example. Uh, example number four. Again, we have to find out the NPV. From the following information, calculate the present value of two projects and suggest which which of the two projects should be accepted at the discount rate of equal to 10 percentage. Again, we have two projects, so we have to decide which project to be accepted. So what are these two projects? One project is project X and the second project is project Y. Informations are given initial investment for project A, 20, and for project B, for project X, 20, for project Y, it is 30. Initial investment simply means cost of the project. Estimated life for this one is 5, for the second one is also it is 5. A scrap value or salvage value at the end, it is 1000, for the second one it is 2000, right? Rest of the information are given, present value, sorry, the profit before the precession and after tax. See the point? The profit, it is before the precession and after tax. If it is before, prof, before the precession and after tax, it means no need for adjustment, right? So the good thing in this example is that there is no need for adjustments of the inflow. So the profit or the inflows are before the depreciation and after tax as following. So these are the year, year one, year two, year three, year four, up to year five. So informations are given for X project, year one, year two, year three, year four, and year five. And the same case for Y project, it is given below, right? So simply let us start with the solution, how to find out the present value. Let us start with the present value of inflow. Present, so let us start with the project, project, project x we can see right so i'll write down project x project x how to find out the present value for project x so give two dot here write down first of all we have to find out present value of inflow right present value of inflows present value of inflows or how to find out as we can see there is no need for adjustment so a straightforward put the value of inflows into the formula and find out the inflow for year one, year two, year three, and so on. For X project, for year one, how much is the inflow? It is just amount of 5,000. 5,000 divided by rate of, rate of capital or cost of capital is 10 percentage. So instead of this, you can write down 0 0.1, right? So 0 0.1 plus one become equal to 1.1. How we do this one? Because this is in the formula, right? In the formula, we have like this. C1 divided by 1 plus R in the power of 1, right? So this one is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 plus 1 become 1.1, right? 1.1. So straightforward, I am putting 1.1 in the value here, right? So 5,000 divided by 1.1 bracket close into power of, power of 1, right? Press the equal sign, you get this amount. How much is for the second year? Simply you can find it for the second year as well. Just amount of 10,000 divided by 1 bracket 1 okay, two, okay 1 point 1 bracket close in the power of 2 press the equal sign you get this much. So the same case find out for the third year as well 10,000 again divided by <coughs> divided by take a bracket 1.1 bracket close in the power of three right equal sign you find it for this one the same case you find it for the four there three thousand divided by take a bracket one point one then bracket close in the power of four press the equal sign it is this much and the same case for the last year but remember in this case the inflow of the last year should be added with the scrap as well or we can say the scrap should be added with the inflow of the last year how much is the scrap for X project? In fact, the scrap for A project is basically amount of, for X project is 1000. So 1000 should be added with the inflow of the last year for this project. And the same case for B project, it should be added with the inflow of the last year, right? So as we are doing for X project only, so we have to find out in this manner, right? So 1000 is the scrap and 2000 is the inflow, become equal to how much? 3000, right? Once again. So 3000 divided by 1.1 bracket close into power of 5, right? Press the equal sign, you get this amount. So 
So inflows are now found out. Inflow for year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4, and year 5. Now let's find out the total. Total of inflows versus total of inflows for the project. How to find out? Once again, take the sum of all these values. Year 1 plus year 2. How much is the inflow for year 2? So this is the amount. We have to take it from here. Then take the sum for year 3 as well. So whatever is the amount for the year, so we have to take those amounts here, right? Inflow for year 3 is this much. And the same case, inflow for year 4 is this much. Take the sum of this one. And the same case, you can find out inflow for the year 5 as well. This is the inflow plus this amount, so you can put it here. Press the equal sign, you get the balance. How much is the inflow for the project itself? So the inflow for the project is just equal to amount of, amount of, for example, this much. 24,232 points, something like that. So this is the inflow for project X. Let us find out the outflow also. So for project X, how much is the outflow, right? Present value, value of outflow, outflow. Outflows, why we don't have outflows basically, we have only one outflow in this project. And if you remember how much was the outflow of X project, X project, yes. Outflow for project X is only amount of 20,000, so you can mention just how much amount of 20,000. Why? Because <coughs> we have only one outflow. So if this is so, now you can find out the NPV for project A. Write down the NP, sorry, NPV for which project? For X project, right? NPV for X project is just equal to amount of how much? Present value of inflow minus present value of outflow. How much is inflow? Inflow was 24,234. Fine. If I'm not wrong. Fine. Eight, six, nine, seven. Right? From this amount, we have to minus the outflow. How much is the outflow? Outflow is amount of 30,000. So this is basically the NPV for project A, right? How much is the NPV? This is the NPV. NPV for project X is equal to amount of 4,234 points, something like that. So this is the NPV for project X. So see the NPV for project Y in the next.